Welcome to the Floral Design Institute video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and I'm here today to share with you Stephanotis. You know, their intense fragrance and their delicate blossom makes them perfect for weddings. Now, the Victorian era, they agreed with us, and they said that Stephanotis signified marital happiness. Now, today's bride, they still love them. And according to The Knot, the Stephanotis is one of the most popular flowers. It's in their top 10 list. I'm actually quite thrilled that these are in the top 10 because these tiny blossoms, although tender and delicate, are actually quite hardy and easy to work with. When you get them in, key is to open them up right away and inspect them. They should be white and fleshy. If they've started to yellow or mold or brown or shrivel, sign of an old flower, not really a good thing. So you want them to be white and fleshy. And then key, as with all flowers, is to hydrate them. Now most florists sometimes will skip this step because they think, oh, it's not really necessary. And maybe it's not absolutely necessary, but if you want your flowers to last as long as possible and look great from the point of photos through the weddings and the reception, then yes, hydration is key. And so actually take each individual little blossom, give it a cut, and set it in a bath of tepid water. It should be tepid to cool. You don't want to cook these poor little blossoms. And let them soak for 30 minutes. And they'll rehydrate. The stems will drink in that water, and the petals get far more voluptuous. Once they've soaked for 30 minutes, take them out and totally saturate them with crowning glory, front and back, and then set them on a towel to dry. Now, crowning glory is an anti-transparent. It seals the moisture into the flowers, and by doing so, it can double the life of the flowers. You know, it's amazing what a difference it makes. So just spray it fully front, back, and then let it dry. Once they're totally dry, dry at room temperature, you can put them in a container and put them in the refrigerator until you're ready to design. Now an airtight container, Tupperware style, is best. Take a bit of paper towel and place that in the bottom. Moisten it, just plain water. You don't want it sopping wet, but you want it damp to create humidity and then set the blooms on that. Now don't put them away when they're still wet with the crowning glory. If you put them away wet with crowning glory, sometimes, not always, but many times, they'll get little brown spots where they've started to mold and build up on there, and you don't want that to happen. If you want them dry from the crowning glory, damp on the paper towel, then seal it airtight, and place it into your flower cooler. On designing day, you have several choices for mechanics when you come to work with your Stephanotis. First off, open it out, pull out your blossom, and traditionally, we wired and taped them. So to do that, it's a 22 or a 26 gauge wire, depending on what you're going to make. Experiment with different weights to see what works best for you. And then bend the wire into a hairpin, just like so, making a U shape. Then the trick is to help provide a little water reservoir using a tiny bit of tissue. Tuck that into the U, just like so, and then feed this into the center of the flower, and straight down. And that gives a soft little bit of a water reservoir. Then once it's tucked in, go ahead and just tape the end. just like so. Then we were all so excited with the arrival of Stephanotis stems. It's an artificial stem. It has the wire and the cotton swab already there. Then when you get this, you open it and set it in water. Let it soak for a few seconds. To prepare your flower, break off the calyx. Totally remove that. Then take your soaked stem and push up from the bottom and remove the seed pod. You want that gone. And then screw inward from the bottom, just like so. 
Now you can tape it if you want, but it's not absolutely necessary. At the Floral Design Institute, we teach both the old and the new technique. And students ask me, when should I use one and not the other? And you know, it's really personal preference. The stems save you so much labor, but some people feel they're not secure. So the wiring and taping gives you that stability. As long as you put the little cotton with the inside or tissue with water, you get the same water reservoir. So again, back to personal preference. So we teach the old, we teach the new, and you know sometimes when you work with Stephanotis, you don't use either technique, you might just glue it into place. Yes, there's lots of different ways to work with Stephanotis, but no matter which one you choose, you may want to go ahead and enhance them. Traditionally, we used pearl head pins, just regular corsage pins. Cut them down a bit, they don't need to be quite so long. And then place it right down into the center of the flower and it will pin right into the little cotton swab and gives you a beautiful decorative pearl accent for something slightly different using three boutonniere pins. So they're a little smaller and they're already shorter, so I'm not gonna cut them down. And then again, just pin them straight down into the cotton swab. It mimics the pistils and stamens of a flower. Now new are the wonderful diamante pins Again, just cut them down and pin it right down into the center. Isn't that beautiful? Now it's your turn. Buy a box of Stephanotis and practice. Get creative, have fun. You invest in yourself and in your floral skills, you're worth it. Besides that, won't it be grand fun to have fragrant Stephanotis in your world? As you're working, if you have questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me through our website, flowerschool.com, or call me at 1-800-819-8089, or if email is easier, my personal email is leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. I love to hear from you. And you know, if you're really excited about what you created, send me a picture. I love to see it. So have fun and do something you love with Stephanotis.